We have two more examples of radical equations to look at. The next two examples are using radical models to convey relationships. In the first example, the less income people have, the more likely they are to report that their health is fair or poor. The formula p equals negative 4.4 square root x plus 38 models the percentage of Americans reporting fair or poor health p in terms of annual income x in thousands of dollars. According to the formula, what is the income in thousands of dollars for the group in which 16% report fair or poor health? One thing that I will point out, that percentage p is p percent, meaning that we're not going to move the decimal or change it to a decimal. We're going to use the percent number. So here, 16% reporting fair or poor health. We're going to say p is 16. That's something that's not entirely clear from the context of the problem, so I'm pointing that out for you, knowing what's coming. The idea here is we're going to put 16 in for p and try to solve for x. You try to do this. Pause the video, solve for x, and when you resume, I'll have an answer. And for number 11, did you get x equals 25? That means that for an income of 25 thousand dollars, about 16 percent people would report fair or poor health. This formula is created with past data and it can be used to help analyze what's happening right now. Let's take a look at another example. When firefighters are working to put out a fire, the rate at which they spray water on the fire depends on the nozzle pressure. The formula y equals 120 square root p models the water's flow rate F in gallons per minute in terms of the nozzle pressure P in pounds per square I inch. I notice already I have a mistake. That F should be a Y. So the Y is the water's flow rate in gallons per minute in terms of the nozzle pressure P in pounds per square inch. What nozzle pressure is needed to achieve a water flow rate of 840 gallons per minute? So if I wanted to figure out 840 gallons per minute, that's my y that I need to use into the formula. So we'll say 840 equals 120 square root y and solve for y. Divide by 120 and 840 divided by 120 will give us 7. 7 is the square root of y, so y is going to be 7 squared, which is 49 pounds per square inch. What nozzle pressure is needed to achieve a water flow rate of 720 gallons per minute? I want you to try that one on your own. Pause the video and see if you can get an answer. I do have one question. Do you think that this pressure is going to be more than 49 pounds per square inch or less? And why do you think that? So a question to ask yourself and then try it on your own. Pause the video and when you resume I'll have the answer. Did you get 36 pounds per square inch? awesome. PSI is a short abbreviation for pounds per square inch. Now let's take a look at a graph. So how is my answer for 840 gallons per minute shown on the graph? Well, 840 was right about here on my graph, and I can see if I drop down, it's right at 49 pounds per square inch. For 720, similarly, I look for about 720 maybe right about here, and I see that if I drop it down, I get about at 36. So here's my 720 answer. Here's my 840 answer. Pretty nicely shown on our graph.